Psychologist Elliot Anson conducted a study where he made students from University of Minnesota hear a tape recording where people were taking a quiz. When people did well in this quiz but spilled coffee at the end of the interview, who rated higher on the likability versus when these people did well in the quiz but did not spill coffee. Hi guys, I'm Ashita and in this video, I'm going to share 8 science back techniques that are guaranteed to make everyone like you. Number 1, the power of mirroring. Now, mimicking someone's body language, their facial expressions, gestures, of course in a natural way and not in a weird, creepy manner, this is called mirroring. It shows the person that you are invested in them and makes them feel warmly towards you. This is also called the chameleon effect. By mirroring others, we send a signal that makes them think that you guys are on the same wavelength, which makes them more inclined towards liking you. In fact, research stated that it is a subconscious way of telling their mind that you guys are on the same wavelength. Number two, listen but not just with your ears. And this is called active listening. It's probably a no-brainer that people will like you more if you listen to them intently. And this starts with ignoring your WhatsApp and Instagram notifications when you're out with your friends or sitting on a dinner table with someone. And it goes way beyond that. You can show someone that you're actively listening to them through your body language. You can position your body to face them and mirror their body language. You can maintain eye contact and have verbal confirmation. Now, what I mean by verbal confirmation is that you ask follow-up questions. For example, if someone tells you that they went for a food festival lately and they had tons of different ice creams. Instead of just saying, oh, that's great and ending the conversation there, you go ahead and ask a follow-up question related to probably the flavors of ice creams that they tried. And that's how you build a conversation, making the other person feel that you're actually intently listening to them, which makes them feel valued and respected. Studies have actually shown that active listening techniques like verbal confirmation, nodding, smiling, maintaining eye contact actually increases your likability towards the people that you are interacting with. Number three, use their name. Let's face it, we all are huge narcissists and we love the sound of our own name. So learn names of people and use them whenever you're in conversation with them. Now it doesn't have to sound forced or unnatural. You can slightly just sprinkle their names in your regular conversation. For example, when you're greeting them, when you're expressing gratitude or addressing them directly in a crowd. It's a small gesture but can have a huge impact on how someone perceives you. In fact, even in this very popular book called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, it was stated that it is a tested and true technique that actually works. Number four, smile with feeling. Now, even though our lives are constantly substituted with digital interactions with social media, WhatsApp and whatnot, humans are still social creatures at our very core. And as humans, all our conscious and subconscious decisions on how we interact with people are based off on our social interactions. So when someone meets you with a huge smile or a grin on their face, which is beaming with positivity, it is bound to make you also a happier person. And many studies have shown that mood, whether positive or negative, tends to spread between individuals. So if your positive attitude and your smile brightens up someone's day, they are sure to love you for that. Number five, spend more time around people who you are hoping to befriend. According to a mere exposure effect, people tend to like those people who they are familiar with. So the more often you are around those people, the more likely they are to like you back. In one of the studies conducted at the University of Pittsburgh, they sent four women to a class and each woman showed up at different number of times in the class. And when the men in the class were shown the pictures of those four women, they showed more affinity towards the woman who showed up the maximum number of times. And this was merely because she showed up more times in the class than the others did, despite all of them having no interaction. Number six, be a real person and not a robot, which basically means reveal your flaws from time to time. According to the Pratfall effect, people will tend to like you more after you've made a mistake, but only if they believe that you're a competent person. Revealing that you aren't perfect makes you more likable, makes you more human, and makes the other person feel feel like you are exactly like them. Making mistakes actually makes the other person feel more relatable and vulnerable towards you. In fact, researcher Elliot Arnson conducted several studies and came to the conclusion that simple mistakes can affect perceived attraction. Number seven, act like you like them. If you want somebody to like you, you have to start behaving in a way that makes them feel that you like them. This is called the reciprocity of liking. When you genuinely express admiration, appreciation or affection towards others, they are more likely to reciprocate those feelings to you. So even if you're not sure how someone interacting with you feels about you, act like you like them and they're more likely to like you back. 
And lastly, be an interesting person. Now, good conversations are just not enough. As humans, we crave excitement and new things. And to be an interesting person, you need to do things in life. You can't be sitting around all day on your couch and watching TV or scrolling through social media. Secret sauce to becoming an interesting person or having interesting conversations with people is to have hobbies, opinions, passions. So that you can have interesting conversations with people, allowing them and giving them the space to think that you are a person that they should hang with even more. Also, people who regularly try new things have more confidence, better memory, they tend to be liked by more people and this has been proven by science. That's it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me to create a video on next and I shall do that. Until then, take care, bye-bye and I will see you guys soon.